Say, Pop saw you help one side on the window, and here I am. I'm your man. But I sure didn't think you was the Avon lady. <laughs> <laughs> you a trip, Pops. Uh, now, about this job, uh, how much bread do I get and uh, what I have to do, Pops? Uh, first thing you have to do is stop calling me Pops. <laughs> call me Fred. Oh, yeah, right on, Fred. On second thought, you better call me Mr. Sanford. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, down at the gym, my friends call me King. What they call you at home, Kong? <laughs> oh, no, they call me Norman. Well, listen, Norman, the guy I hire got to have three qualities. He got to be honest, he got to be hardworking, and he got to be able to lift that trunk over there. Now, you think you can do it? Are you kidding? Hey, man, put me down, <laughs> dummy, not me, the trunk, put me down. I was just joking with you, Mr. Sam. Lift up my clothes, wrinkle my sweater. Hey, listen, now, it's going to take a couple of us to do this, because this is heavier than I am. All together now. <laughs> uh, Norman, uh, bring it right on over here, Norman. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can't put it there because I tell you, put it behind this couch over here and watch that vinyl rub. Watch it. Don't, don't wait a minute. Lay it back over here. There you go. Right there in that corner. Put it right there. I told you it would take two men to do that job, didn't it? <laughs> Hey, no, you, you can start to work in the morning. Now, the first thing in the morning, I want you to go down to the Supreme Salvage Company and pick me up some bathtubs out in order. Uh, by the way, can you drive a truck? Yeah, I know all about trucks. Hey, I can take one apart in five minutes, man. I ain't talking about stripping them. I'm talking about driving them. <laughs> hey, you got a driving license? Oh, yeah, right here. Gee, Monetti, you sure take an ugly picture. <laughs> Oh, well, that's because it was early in the morning. Listen, when you this ugly in the morning, you that ugly at night. <laughs> Look here. Now, I got this. I got this address, and I got the check. Now, here's the address where I'm going to go pick up the tub and take this check. OK? All right, Mr. Sanford. Now, listen. Now, if you try to run off with my truck and try to catch that check, I'll find you. <laughs> might take me a week, might take me a month. Might take me years, but one day, maybe 50 years from now, you'll be walking down the street, and when you least expect it, a 115-year-old man go jump out of the alley. <laughs> jump out of the alley with a two by four and cave your skull in. <laughs> Come on, get to work. Right on. What? Right on. Right out. Say, Pop, who was that big guy I just saw leaving here? Oh, that was King. I mean, that was uh, Norman. Yeah, he's the new fella I hired. You hired somebody already? Sure, I told you I would. I, 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 I you do. Are you kidding? I got a job just like that. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, what kind of job is it? Got a job in commodities. Oh, you still in junk. <laughs> Listen, Pop, this is a different job. Now, see, I got, I got more responsibility on this job. Now, Mr. Backstrom wants me to take over the whole operation. Backstrom? You going to know, you going to work for old Big Nose Backstrom? Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, you got yourself a new man that you happy with? Mm -hmm. And I got myself a new job that I'm happy with. Yeah, I, I, I guess you, you'll be leaving soon, won't you? Yeah, looks that way. Yeah, well, you going to stay the night for supper? No, it's Friday night, Pop. I got a heavy date. Friday. I almost forgot it was Friday. So, what are you doing? Well, if you can go out, I can go out too. Well, where are you going? I'm going to have me some hot chicken soup down there with Goldstein and his son. 